What is happening? So I recently showed you guys that uh, I have the actual factory uh, service manuals, which includes the schematic for the Ugera 1960 Infinium, which is very cool. Um, this one is now past its, um, oh, what do you call it, warranty period. So I'm going to crack it open. I'd like to see what's inside it. I noticed uh, there's not uh, too many videos out there. There's not really any videos out there just opening this up and having a look. So we're going to have a look. So I got the back uh, grade off of it for now. Just having a little look as we're as we're going here. Need to blow the dust out of here. So there's four screws on the bottom. And then there's a screw on each side. And then I see they've got some like uh, tin tape as, um, what do you call it? Uh, not flashing, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm thinking. It's for uh, shielding. So let me get rid of this cabinet and we'll take a look at the amp. So one of the things I've been impressed with so far is all the screws are like little uh, machine screws. They're not those like wooden ones that go into the, the little clips or whatever, you know what I'm talking about. So you've got four EL34 Bugera branded EL34s. Um, I'm sure that these 12AX7s are... Uh, probably Bugera branded boy that's in there tight and the other thing is is that uh, the amplifier um, was in that uh, cabinet very tight very tight uh, on that cabinet so, so let's see they got a little some kind of sticker here manufacturer part ID number Behringer batch code Probably well, that's a piece of copper there So whatever these transformers are Or whoever they're made of it's heavy. I will tell you that much. It is definitely heavy So here you go, I mean it's pretty simple looking you got two boards in here well three boards and um, You know pots mounted to the board uh, so if you have to um replace a pot you got to find one of those you ever have to replace one no, i don't uh i don't think i'll i hope i won't have to be doing any work on this amplifier for quite some time uh but everything's pretty neat although I'll, i don't like this goo stuff everywhere um and i guess that's just to kind of hold that in place um probably as well to make sure you know they can see if anybody's actually been poking around in here um but everybody every everybody everything looks pretty cool um nothing looks i'm not having any issues with this amplifier or anything i'm just curious to see what's you know going on in here we got uh four fuses right here of some sort going to something I would have to look at the schematic to find out what they're for. Um, does this have an exterior fuse on it? Yeah, it does have a fuse uh, on the back panel there. It's got a fuse fuse holder. So then it's got four fuses in here. <clears throat> well, like I said, which I'm not. This has the Infinium uh, tube monitoring um, deal, ordeal, whatever. Um, you know, it just make basically looks like a Chinese made amplifier. Um, but the other thing is, is that it looks relatively simple, you know, for servicing. I'm not sure what this, oh, I know what this is. What this is, is just, this is to route the, uh, all the wires coming from the output transformer uh into the boards and coming through 
Um, so that's kind of cool. I mean, they, they did a nice, tidy job. Now, like I say, having to work on something like this, I don't know. I don't know how it would go. It doesn't, uh, as long as you have the schematic, I mean, what the hell? You've got some little ribbon cables here going to, oh, there's a, another board there. So now that's what? What do we got? One, two, three, four, five PCB boards in here. So this PCB board here has something to do with the bias of uh, uh, the uh, Infinium bias uh, uh, monitoring whatever thing. It also has a plug there that's empty. Something plugged into that or could plug into that. So that's probably they use them on every uh, Infinium series. And yeah, there's a couple plugs that aren't used on this particular board. So this is not their only Infinium model. Uh, but yeah, interesting to kind of look at. You know, see what's going on. Here's your your post phase inverter master volume is right here you know that goes down to some switches uh to boost switches and then your uh your um effects loop is up in here and that's your this has got to be your switch for okay that's your impedance switch um what's this here then oh this is your speaker out oh, okay that makes sense. All the wires coming from the output transformer. You know, everything's got part numbers on it. Uh, yeah. So there it is, right? I don't know what all this goo is about here. And it's not on top of this. It's in between this, this board here. I, mean, I don't want to really pull it up see this it's protecting and there's goo in there I imagine the rectifiers in there underneath that goo trying to understand where certain things would be okay those are the preamp tubes so then you got your power tubes over here so these are probably your what let's see probably your screen resistors here one two three and four probably screen resistors yeah i'm not going to go and get into the schematic and go through it, but i am going to take a look at the schematic just for myself just to kind of see how things uh look see how things are like i said no i don't have any issue with this amplifier it's been great um again the kind of machine screw uh type of deal thing there i like that uh, instead of the wood looking screws thing so yeah everything's kind of seems to be made really well yeah pretty pretty thick pretty thick pcb board here's your diodes there huh and then i wonder what these uh resistors here are for Hmm. Anyway, so um, I did see that there were some people that were doing um, some type of bright switch mods. Uh, I'm not sure what it was. You can look it up. They're on YouTube. They, uh, they were removing one leg of the bright switch, which I don't really understand. But if that's what you like, that's what you like. And there's a video on YouTube talking about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to put it back together and... and uh, probably rock out on it for a little while but there you go there is the insides Let's see if i can get you a better look at that uh board with potentiometers there's a nice look at the uh insides of a bugera 1960 infinium which is this is a Marshall Plexi clone that it's uh, in fact people dump back to back things on them and um, 
I mean, it's it's incredible how how they nailed it. I mean, they really nailed the tone uh, on these things. So, anyway, till next time, peace out.